I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Moai giant heads on Easter Island. I come over here on the right hand side and I take two fingers and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw straight line, curve line, straight line out, curve line over, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot. We're going to extend this a straight line, curve line down, curve line down, and connect. Starting over here on the left, we draw a straight diagonal, straight line down, wavy line, up, curve line, and connect. Come right about here and let's put a dot. And we're going to draw a curve line over and down. Come back to the dot, straight line in, curve line up straight line, connect. Come right here at this point and we're just going to draw a straight line down, curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, and connect. Underneath, starting right about here with this dot, we're going to draw slightly wavy line over, slightly wavy line back, connect. Underneath, Slightly wavy line over, up, and connect. Now come over here on the left and we're just going to draw a curve line down, keep going, curve line in, connect. Come right over here, let's say about three fingers, and let's put another dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a curve line, curve line down, curve line over, leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Curve line out, curve line down, curve line up, connect. Right about here we're going to draw slightly curve line out, wavy line over, wavy line up, and connect. Come right up to the very top on the left. We're just going to draw a slightly curved line over, and connect. Come back to the left. We're going to draw slightly curved line down, over, up, keep going, and connect. Come over here on the left and we're going to draw a curved line down, over, connect, and underneath in the center. Slightly wavy line, back, curved line, up, connect. One more time, slightly wavy line, curved line up, connect. Come way over here on the left. We're going to draw wavy line, wavy line, bam, it crashes into that, jump over, continue the line down here, wavy line, off your page. Come inside right here in the center, slightly wavy line, come over here on the left, slightly wavy line. Come over here on the top of this line and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line up, curve line down, connect. We're going to come up to the tippy top right here, curve line, curve line down, curve line up, curve line over, off the page. And one more right here, curve line out, down, curve line, off the page. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, usually I say we always start dark to light, but in this situation there's so much brown that I'm going to color my Moe all brown first, individually, do all the spaces. I'm doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. Bring it down. 
keep going. Okay. Now do this space. Same thing. We're going to start off with brown. Color in your spaces. Bring it down. Okay, so those are the heads. Alright, we've got our first coat of brown. But they are standing on hillsides. So this hill part, I'm going to loop de loop brown, this space, this space to about there. Okay, because we're going to double color. Then I'm going to take my yellow green and I'm going to go over the hillside not the heads the hillside and I'm using this yellow green also on this space down here on this hillside so what you have to remember is that the heads are just lying on these hillsides some of them are facing the ocean but this is the hillside that they're lying on. So I'm going to do this with light green. Okay. Then I come back in with my brown again because it's not all grass and I'm just going to put some loop-de-loops over the green to give it a little bit of depth. And I can always come in and fill these in a little bit more which I'll probably do. But know that it's light green and some brown. Okay, the next part. These are in cuts. So I take a black and this section is shadowed heavily by the sun. So even though it looks maybe strange, I'm going to take some black and put it underneath his nose. I'm going to take some black, put it underneath his lips. I'm going to add some black lines, not a lot, because you can't take black back, but I want to add some black just to add some depth, because these are made out of rock, okay? So they've got gradations of color, okay? I'm going to come down and do this in shadow also. That's really what we're doing. We're coloring this in as if the sun is hitting it and it's deep in shadow. And because the heads are sculpted the way they are, the indentations look black. Now, because it's sitting, there's a little bit of shadow over here. Now I jump over to this guy. Same thing. The end cuts on the eyes, I'm going to make black because it's shadowed. Come over and do underneath the nose. That's also shadowed. Okay, the lips, I'm just going to put some lines. I'll put a line over here on this guy too. And this is all shadowed. Okay, and the shadow goes underneath. Okay, because this is where the sun is hitting it. Now, again, I'm going to put a little bit of black. Not too much. on my faces. Now, if you want, come back in with your brown and fill in over the black just so that you can see the whole thing is made cut from stone. So this is all solid color. Okay? Same thing with this one over here. You can always add black but you can't take it away so that's why you kind of have to be frugal careful when you put it on the first coat okay now everything is set against a electric blue sky these are clouds so with my blue green I'm gonna color this kind of dark because there's such a contrast between the clouds, the heads, 
the whole environment. Now you can imagine what this must have looked like to the ancient people called the Rapa Nui who came upon these and made them. They were ceremonial. Okay? Real blue blue. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my Easter Island heads called Moai. And they're from the ancient race of people, the Rapa Nui. And it's the living face of our ancestors. And underneath, they say there are bodies. But you can't see them because they're buried. Okay, bye-bye.